Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to react to 10 monster waves versus ships. Now, um, me and my girlfriend went to uh, Santorini. We took the ferry there from Athens and it was a seven hour trip and there were a few really choppy moments where the water was really sort of like um, volatile and I don't usually get seasick but I almost I almost chucked it while I was on that uh, ferry man. It was uh, it was pretty hairy. And I can't imagine how it would be if those waves were so, like three, four, five times bigger and you properly were like thrown out of your seat and just tossed all over the place. Like seasickness in those kind of situations must be really, really common. That feeling of nausea. But seeing it from like a zoomed out vantage point, it's so cool seeing these big, big vessels, you know, moving so, you know, just being almost like, moved around like toys by the water is honestly incredible so yeah this video is going to be pretty pretty fun from a fishing trailer getting tossed around in rough seas to a rescue vessel getting wow, hit by a massive rogue wave, wave and a kayaker a little too close to a collapsing glacier in today's video we'll witness some of the most harrowing moments ever captured on video and we will learn that the ocean can be a treacherous and unpredictable environment. Yep. Let's begin today's video. Number Let's 10. Go. A Russian oil tanker sailing in the Baltic Sea gets struck by a collapsing wave. The ship sustained serious damage and barely made it back to port okay. Oh man. Whoa. Hammered. Hammered. Number nine, a rescue vessel in the North Sea gets hit by a number of massive waves. The North Sea is close to the UK. Whoa. Sounded like an explosion, didn't it? Oh, The vessel sustained damage, including broken windows, but thankfully returned to port in one piece. Nice. Number eight. A New Zealand warship gets smashed by a 20 meter tall wave off the coast of Antarctica. The ship did this is so much water. I know this might sound, you know, dumb, but there is just so much water on this planet. Isn't this planet like 70% water, I think? Sustained some damage, but they were able to make repairs. Number seven, a fishing trawler in the North Atlantic Ocean gets tossed around like a toy in rough seas. Gosh, imagine being lost at sea, like you're on a raft and you've got no way of like contacting uh, land you could just that's it for you really unless you luckily get rescued because i mean you just cannot see anything on the, the horizon the north sea is notorious for its rough conditions and unpredictable waters number six a cruise ship attempts to sail through a rough storm near the coast of france
might be a dumb question, but why do some parts of the world, you know, have such severe droughts when there's just so much water in the ocean? Can't they build, you know, pipe pipes that can, you know, bring and desalinate some of the ocean water and, you know, make it available for whatever uses they need, whether it's for farming or just for consumption? Like, because we've got so much water on this planet, like, you know, why is it that there are certain places that are just dry as a bone? I'm guessing maybe they can't afford to um, to build such a long network of pipes. Wow, look at that! Crazy. Number five, an oil tanker gets caught in Jesus, look how many pipes. In a horrible storm in the North Sea, with wind speeds of up to 80 knots and swells of up to 15 meters tall. Almost looks like slow motion. You know, the way it's being like rocked up and down. Number four, a bulk carrier attempts to sail through a typhoon in the North China Sea. I'd actually quite like to spend, you know, a week at sea in one of these types of uh, boats. I think it would be so, like, relaxing. Although I say that now, and I'm sure if the conditions were like this, I wouldn't be saying the same thing. Like, any of you guys watching this video that have, you know, worked in the Navy or anything like that, what was it like? Did you enjoy it? It's not really, you can't drink ocean water, can you? Because it's really salty. But I guess, you know, if you're desperate. Because isn't it crazy that there's, you know, people that don't have drinking water, like don't have access to it. Yet we have literally billions and billions and billions. The ship of sustained ocean water. moderate damage, but thankfully no one on board was injured. Number three, a large oil tanker attempts to sail through rough seas in the Atlantic Ocean. The weather was fairly clear on this day, and the seas were not expected to be so rough. It's 
just so like mesmerizing. Just nothing. You can't see a thing. Just water. Три метра тут волны, он уже по 7 метров ведут, но прогноз ничего не даже не говорит. I mean the waves in this one don't really look that big, it's just more like, it's just more so the ship getting moved so high and then back down. Yeah, I could watch this forever honestly. Even now it's making me sleepy. And finally, number one. A kayaker is enjoying some peace and tranquility in the beautiful waters of Prince William Sound, Alaska, when suddenly the glacier starts to collapse, creating a huge wave. Guessing that's when it's breaking apart. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, the guy in the back uh, shout, pedal back. Yeah, I'm not sure if you should be getting close to this thing right now. Oh, it's a big wave. Oh. Ten feet. And in a little kayak. That would feel even bigger. I have it on film. I don't know whether, is he swimming towards the glaciers or, be, or, you know, away from them? It's hard to tell what his orientation is. Jesus, that was nice. Whoa. I love that. Oh my God. Subscribed. Really interesting video. There was something really mesmerizing for me about seeing the rocking of the ships, just the up and down motion. It seemed really, really relaxing. But then when I think back to what it felt like when I was on that ferry, it was anything but relaxing because it's just like you've got no control over what direction your body's going in. It's uh, and the the nausea that it gave me. So I can only imagine what it felt like to you know sustain to feel those massive waves. It must have just been like you must have just seen guys you know puking into buckets all over the place. Really crazy video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.